Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, I am going to be going over the role of the bounty hunter in the new update for the Red Dead Online Summer Update that's going to be coming out next week that was already announced by Rockstar Games. Now, let's go ahead and kind of talk about the Bounty Hunter, and before I actually get into it, I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to have three separate videos talking about the roles, all the information, because we're going to go into depth in each of these roles, and what I'm really looking forward to from each of these roles. I do personally believe that I'm going to be playing as all of the roles. I'm not going to necessarily be picking one specific role, as there is role XP for each of these roles, and I'm going to try to do the best that I can to make it as even as possible, because all of these sound absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and get started with the Bounty Hunter. Now get started as the Bounty Hunter when you meet the legendary Bounty Hunter in Rhodes. So it's actually telling you where you guys need to go in order to start this pursuit if you want to be a bounty hunter within the summer update so and purchase the bounty hunter license the standard price is going to be 15 gold bars now i've been saying this for a very very long time that i felt like rockstar was giving us the opportunity to make a ton of gold because it's going to be playing a huge portion of it just to buy each of these licenses it's going to cost 15 gold bars but i was saying that 15 gold bars at it seems like a lot, but honestly, if you've been participating in some of the daily challenges over the last couple weeks, if you did all seven daily challenges for the last two weeks, that's 140 gold bars, not including the fact that we've had to do showdown, free roam events, race events, things like that, that actually generate more gold XP and money just from participating in those events alone. I think I made over 175 gold bars in the last two weeks in Red Dead Online, which is the most that I've ever made. Maybe except for participating in a glitch or two here and there. So anyway, um, now if you guys are a Twitch Prime member and you link your Twitch Prime and your Rockstar Games social account together by se Sunday, September the 8th, which I've already done this, so I'm already getting some of these, you will get the Bounty Hunter license completely for free when the update happens on September the 10th, which I think is absolutely amazing that Rockstar is even doing anything like that because we can save ourselves 15 gold bars if you guys are on Amazon Prime, link it to Twitch Prime, and then link it to Rockstar Games Social Club account. It's really easy to do it, and I strongly recommend that you guys do it if you haven't already done so. Now, licensed bounty hunters can pick up work by visiting bounty boards located near law offices. So, post offices and train stations across all the states. So, not only do you have to go to the sheriff's station, but you, there's post office. So, I'm thinking like Tumbleweed, there's a sheriff's station. And there's also a, um, a post office that are actually not really close to each other. There's one in Tumbleweed and there's one down in Benedict Point. So, they're giving us access around the map. Now, obviously, I am hoping that they're going to do more stuff in, you know, Amberino, the state, because it's very limited, in my honest opinion. So I'm hoping that with these some of these rules that we'll have to be kind of forced to go up into the, that area, because I'm really hoping that they really start to bring that that area alive. But anyway, there is no shortage of criminals to be dealt with and the targets range in difficulty from lone low-level criminals to notorious outlaws with armed protection details and a watchful eye. Taking on armed gang or bringing in multiple targets to justice is made easier with the help of a posse. So, if you, so now they're actually bringing the posse element into it. So if you guys are in a posse and all of you guys are bounty hunters, that's amazing because they're actually... I, and I've been saying this for a really long time that I really hope that they were going to bring elements of the posse into the update because it seems like right now there's really no benefit of participating in a posse except for that you outnumber somebody if they happen to grief you. That's really about it. Now they have had the daily, the daily challenges that revolve around maybe like posse infighting or herb picking contest or bird shooting contest or whatever it might be, but there really isn't any benefit. And I'm saying, quote unquote, benefit from being in a posse. But now there is, especially if you guys are all wanting to be bounty hunters together, which I think is awesome. Now you will earn a cut of the final bounty. So not only will you earn a cut, 
but your posse will own a cut as well, which I think is cool. And keep in mind, bringing in targets alive yields a greater reward. Now, eclipsing Bounty Hunter rank 12 will open up the opportunity to take down other players with high bounties of $20 or more. So, I was thinking that originally that maybe with... I mean, I, I, I can't even tell you the last time that I've seen somebody that was fully red, probably had way more than $20 in bounty. I mean, right now, bounty hunters come after you with $10. So how often is it that players actually have a high bounty of $20 or more? I, I, I just don't see it very often. And I play Red Dead Online every single day. So I'm not sure really where that's coming from, but it seems like it's a little lofty of a goal. However, I guess there maybe their focus isn't necessarily on taking down other players as it is maybe doing the NPC criminals instead and actually having maybe gang hideouts will actually be part into it. You know, if that's the armed criminals that we were just talking about a little bit ago, that'd be awesome if like the gang hideouts, hey, you need to bring the leader into the sheriff instead of sparing them, you have to bring them to get this reward. Now that would be pretty sweet if you ask me. So now bounty hunters will be notified through an invite about the opportunity to hunt down the wanted player when they are nearby in a structured pursuit. The wanted player must escape or surrender within the allotted time, and if captured, they'll also have the opportunities to escape and flee. Boo. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want people to escape. We want to catch them and just be done with it. But if the bounty hunter brings the target in alive, they'll receive an award while the criminal serves time. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So now the real question that we have to ask ourselves is, is do players actually, if they have $20 or more and they're captured alive, if they actually are stuck in a prison cell waiting for that time? Uh, I, I can't see Rockstar necessarily doing that, but that would be really interesting if something like that would actually take place. So, <laughs> but it's just cool that if the bounty hunter brings in the target alive, they will receive an award while the criminal serves time. Justice has been served against those griefers if they have $20 or more. Now, the unique bounty hunter skills and items are that are going to be included with this specific role in Red Dead Online is going to be the focus with targets glow red in eagle eye. So not only is everything just going to kind of glow that, that whitish kind of color, uh, but it's going to go, the targets are actually going to go red in Eagle Eye. You're going to get access to a reinforced lasso, a lasso made with reinforced rope to keep bounties more secure. Reverse spin, perform a reverse spin move with a single pistol or revolver. That's going to be kind of cool. So you can actually like maybe holster it with a unique like emote or something like that. Who knows how that's going to work. Tonic satchel upgrade, store more items in your tonics pouch, which I really don't care about tonics. I'm actually hoping that somewhere in this update that we are able to sell the tonics, like maybe to the doctor and make, make money off of that. I really don't know. Eagle Eye Plus, track enemies while sprinting or galloping on a horse. Awesome. Spin up, perform a spin up with a single pistol or revolver, also similar to the reverse spin. Kit Satchel Upgrade, store more items in your kit pouch. We're tracking arrow pamphlet, a pamphlet recipe on how to craft tracking arrows. I really, I, I don't really know what comes to my mind, but the first time that I read that, I was like, tracking arrows. Like, that seems a little futuristic for me. Just kind of throwing that out there. I don't know how that's going to work, <laughs> but we'll see. I guess when the update actually happens and people actually start getting that pamphlet. Reverse spin up, perform a reverse spin up with a single pistol or revolver, similar to the reverse spin and spin up. We got ducking, duck for protection while on horseback, which I think is really cool that we can actually use our horse as protection. Uh, you were able, I mean, they all used to do that or law enforcement used to do that all the time on horse. Ballistas, uh, we got a thrown weapon, perfect for tangling the legs of bounties, which I think will be really cool. A bounty wagon, a wagon for securely retaining bounty targets. Now, if we actually read the article in itself, it actually says that you'll be able to capture multiple targets at once. Cool. Uh, the only thing that really comes to my mind is the wagon that we're going to be able to use and get the bounty wagon is going to be similar to the one that we started off in Red Dead Online when we're being transported out of the prison. And then when we actually fled and escaped from the law, that type of wagon right there. Perception, receiving a notification of bounties 
from a greater distance away. I think that's really, really cool. So I, it'd be interesting to see where like people, I, I, I anticipate people hiding in the woods way more. So tall trees would be a, a pretty big area, I would think. And I feel like the desert would be a great way because that's really what happened, you know, in real life anyway. But I know it's a game. People have ran for the trees, lots of cover that way. You're a criminal and look at like the mob. They, they started Vegas for gosh sakes. Anyway, uh, alternating flips. Perform alternating flips with a single pistol or revolver. Again, similar to reverse spin, spin up, and reverse spin. And then we have dual gun spinning. Perform a gun spinning trick with two pistols or revolvers. That's the first one and only one with two pistols or revolvers, which some new emotes maybe, or maybe there's just going to be some extra things inside of that. I really don't know how that's going to work. Obviously, we'll have to find out in a week. And I'm super excited to give this one a try and see what it has in store for us. This one does sound really cool. There's a lot of features and benefits, I think, that are going to be coming from this. I just don't know how the $20 or more on a actual player is going to work. And I don't know if um, the player will actually have to serve time if they're caught alive. I probably, if I go a bounty hunter ways and I get a target that's $20 or more, they're probably going to end up dead. Because they are not going to be an easy target to get. Because they have purposely done it for one of two reasons. One, to have fights with other players. Let's be real. They really don't care about their level. It's number two. So they're not going to be an easy target to begin with. And they basically, Rockstar knows that. So how many times are people actually going to make bring them in alive? Let's be honest about that. But anyway, that is the Bounty Hunter in a nutshell. If you guys are looking forward to the other videos on the Trader and the Collector, definitely stay tuned for those because they will be coming out very, very soon. And then that is all the time that I have for you guys in today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Thank you.